right? So in terms of it. so in terms of timing, um, you know, we're we're trying to get that out as soon as possible. In terms of when we'll see that relief, yeah. obviously we all want to see that as as quickly as possible. So I can't give you a determination yet because we still gotta we still gotta decide on where we're going. And once we decide on where we're going, then we'll be able to have those uh, those numbers in. But we do recognize that this needs to happen a lot quicker than in than in years or some of the away. solutions that we're looking at. All of the solutions, as I've said many times, all solutions are on the table right now and we're going to look at ways that we can best serve uh, the ratepayers of this province, both business and family. And you know, until that time, no decisions have been made as to where we're going to move on now. Patrick Brown doesn't offer anything on any solutions for ratepayers. Uh, all he wants to do is tear up contracts, uh, you know, walk away from renewable energy. Um, for us on, the, on, you know, on our side of the house, we're looking for that immediate relief. We're not looking at tearing up contracts and we want to make sure that we can find the best solution possible. Well, I like the fact that you're actually using the real number that they're proposing and not the phony number. Um, uh, certainly, 17%, if they can achieve it, would be a wonderful thing for people. But the problem is they're not fixing the root problem. We've seen electricity bills rise by 17% year over year, and they're not going to fix that problem. It's going to be one-time relief. Are they going to continue to provide that type of a savings year after year? It's going to cost billions and billions of dollars. So they need to tackle the root cause of the problem, which is the expensive fixed energy deals that mostly are, are in the uh, renewable energy sector.